And turning to the other side of the race, earlier this week, the state, G the state GOP finally released the names of the delegation it plans to send to the national convention. But the controversy surrounding how those delegates were elected is far from over. Colorado News Now's Daniel Channon is here now with more. Daniel? Auburn, the state party released the names of 34 delegates it plans to send to St. Paul. Now that much is clear, but whether or not they will be recognized as legitimate delegates when they get there is a different story. Multiple sources tell Colo 8 the Republican National Committee only plans on seating three delegates, all of which would automatically be appointed anyway because of their positions with the party. Meanwhile, the John McCain campaign has issued a statement that it will work with the state GOP to ensure the entire Nevada delegation will be seated. That puts delegates like Washoe County Republican Chair Heidi Smith in a difficult position. The law states that you have to elect delegates. And the key word in that was elect. So it's up to the RNC now to determine what was legally correct and what wasn't. So a lot of us are still going no matter what. Supporters of Texas Congressman Ron Paul and other Republican activists who are not delegates are also planning on attending the convention. They say they want to ensure the proper delegation is recognized. Now, some of these people are going to great lengths to make sure this gets done, and I'll have much more from them tonight at 11. Auburn? All right, looking forward to it. Thanks, Daniel. You're watching Colo 8 News Now at 11. I'm not trying to offend any of those delegates themselves. But we have to have a fair and open process. The saga of Nevada's Republican convention continues. That's our top story on Colo 8 News Now at 11. Good evening. I'm Auburn Hutton filling in for Kendra Kostelecki tonight. Thanks for joining us. Now on to our top story. The mess that started with the state Republican convention continues to drag on even after the party named its list of delegates. Colo 8 News Now's Daniel Channon is here with more on what could make for an even bigger mess at the national convention. Daniel? Auburn, it's really the last thing anyone wants, but it may be inevitable. Two sets of delegates are likely headed to St. Paul for the National Convention, but there's a possibility that neither will be recognized. I've never seen a process ever used like this in the state of Nevada. Therefore, I'm going back to defend the process that's always been the traditional election and convention processes in the state. Mike Weber is one of a handful of Republicans who will be going to Minnesota to question the legitimacy of the state's list of delegates. As things stand right now, the Republican National Committee says it will only recognize the three highest ranking committee members on that list. But a member of presumptive nominee John McCain's camp issued a statement saying it will fight to see that that entire delegation is seated. The debate puts those delegates, like Washoe County Republican Chair Heidi Smith, in a difficult position. We, uh, the delegates who were on the list from the state, will go to the uh, convention in Minneapolis. Whether we can be seated on the floor is up for debate and question. Another set of delegates elected at what was billed as a reconvention in June will likely be joining Smith in St. Paul. That group mostly consists of Ron Paul supporters like Dr. Wayne Terhune, who felt cheated by the state's list of delegates, which they say lacks representation for the Texas congressman. Terhune feels so betrayed that he is planning on driving nearly 2,000 miles to plead his case without an appointment or even the slightest clue of what will happen when he gets there. We still feel our June 28th convention is illegal, so we do have hopes that we'll get some delegates seated, but I have no idea. I've never been there before. The Republican National Convention runs September 1st through the 4th, but even after it wraps up, there's a very good chance the legal battles will continue. Terhune has already indicated he will likely file federal lawsuits against the state GOP. Auburn? All right. Thanks so much, Daniel.